guys, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I am checking out this Warlord Games miniature game called Mythic Americas. And Tiffany is here with me today as an archaeology student who yes. knows much more about that time period than I do. And we have tried out the game, read through the rules, checked out the relevant history mm -hmm. uh, within the game, and we are here to tell you about what we found and our first impressions today. Yay. Here is the starter set they gave me to try out the new game, Mythic Americas. The starter set includes 28 miniatures, which are the Aztecs and Tribal Nations, the full rulebook and softcover, dice tokens, and game cards. The dice are enough to play the full game, which was nice. And we had all of these various cards that you can use to help you remember the different abilities when you're in the game, and even these guys, which I didn't actually need to use. But it, from the looks of it, it looks like depending on the scenario that you have, you can use these tokens to play with them. And then, of course, there's the full rule book. It's a 157 page rule book, and it has everything that you need in it to play. All right, so I figure we should go through possibly three different parts. Yes. We're actually <laughs> going to get to the miniatures first, all of the different minis that you get with the kit. There are 28 miniatures in total. They are metal. I'm not particularly a fan of metal miniatures, but their detail is nice. Metal miniatures do require a bit more um, work than plastic miniatures, mm. but they're solid and they are what you would normally see in most metal miniatures. If you're unfamiliar with how to use metal miniatures, you definitely need to give them a nice warm soapy bath with just um, the, the, the dish soap. soap. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. With just dish soap and wash them off, let them dry, mm. and then go ahead and put your primers on because it might not work okay. because of the uh, the residue on them that happens in most every time you have metal miniatures. Yeah, um, but they're nice. You are going to need some metal files to take off their extra pieces and their flashing. Just bear that in mind when you get them together. But I mean, they're nice mm -hmm. miniatures. They're pretty standard quality for metal miniatures. Yeah, this is my uh, first time handling little metal miniatures, and they have a quite a nice, quite a nice weight to them, actually. So now, besides the zombies, how do you feel about their uh, historical accuracy mm. with regards to the garb that they're wearing? They're pretty. Let's see if I can just get this guy here. Um, so this guy here. He is one of the, he's what we consider a little wizard. Now, this little weapon here, I forget the name of it, honestly, um, but this is fairly accurate. Their overall garb, I'm not sure about the skulls that they have incorporated in this, uh, we'll say, skirt kilt part. I'm not sure if they actually wore the skulls of their enemies as garments like this, but their headdress is fairly accurate. They were very big on this. Most times they were colorful as well, um, but they did inlay skulls sometimes in the weapons. Um, they did tend to wear sometimes death masks as well, whether they wore them into battle, I'm not sure. Um, and I think he has some sort of rock in his hand, maybe, which if he's a wizard, it could be a piece of obsidian to channel his power. I'm not sure, but they seem to be fairly accurate, so I think on that point they did really well for both sets that are in this game. The what are these are the Aztecs. The Aztecs and, and the, native, the natives. tribal nations yes. as they put it for the starter set that we're looking at. They're fairly uh, accurate. Uh, let's get to the history part <laughs> of it. Before anything else. <sighs> so <laughs> in short, um, if you're looking for for the history of Aztecs and tribal nations, and there's also an excerpt about the Mayans and an excerpt about the Inca. The Incas, yes. Um, there are eight pages altogether for those four nations. Mm -hmm. The 157 page rule book is gameplay, yes. uh, related to gameplay at all. There's eight pages worth of history, which it seems like they've taken 
aspects and formed it into a game, which I guess works. But if you're playing for historical accuracy, <laughs> it's not the best. <laughs> you'll you'll be able to play mythical creatures from their backgrounds. From their right? backgrounds, like you have um, the Wendigo and the Sasquatch. They are mythical creatures, which they do bring into the game, which are accurate to point. Um, but a couple of the other creatures that you can actually get as miniatures, they're actual parts of the culture. They've just skewed them a little bit to fit the game better, um, especially the Sasquatch. <laughs> no. It's kind of like taking the characters out and mm. putting them into their own fantasy game. Yes. Seems like. Um, for the gameplay itself, uh, we, tr we tried out a game. Mm. The gameplay, the, the rules, the mechanics, uh, I enjoyed that part. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought that um, uh, the actual gameplay, you would be able to play multiple games over and over quite quickly. And they've got a lot of, um, maybe not a lot, but they've got enough variety that you'd have different games um, for each time that you played. Yes. Uh, the in the box you have about on one side you have two hundred thirty one points on the other side you have two hundred thirty point thirty three points unless you give some of them their Mod optional fires. upgrades um, and it suggests in the book that you go up to two thousand points so you're playing a small version of what it is it says that, uh, a regular game would be played on a four to six. A uh, four foot by six foot board and we played in a very small area just to start off the game hmm. and when it comes to the starter set the fact that you have the full rule book is really nice and you also have a whole bunch of cards to remind you of some of the of some of the possibilities that you have in the game however um again the gameplay itself cool however Initially, we did not realize that you could go online and find a quick reference guide. Which would have helped so much in the beginning. <laughs> On their website, they do have, I believe it's a five-page quick reference guide, which we highly suggest you download if this is going Saves to be you so much time. your first time playing. And introducing new people, it will be such a great help to them. And I also suggest, um, just because you're still going to have to flip through the book a little bit, I suggest uh, the piece, the players that you have just, I don't know, take snapshots, print off mm -hmm. your little data sheets for your characters yes. just so that you don't have to flip through because you're still going to have to flip through the book just a little bit as you're figuring it out. However, once we actually tried the game... It was pleasant. <laughs> yeah. It I, was, it was like... Produce, once we got the quick start guide and we tried the game... It was great. <laughs> Um, it actually went really smoothly. The turns were fast. Um, mm -hmm. I'd be content to play the game again. Playing the game is so much easier and very enjoyable. I actually look forward to playing it on an actual scaled map than a dining room table. Right. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. Now that I've tried it, even just the once, mm -hmm. which was still finicky because of the going through the rules, mm -hmm. I still enjoyed it enough that I would play it again. And I oh, think you'd way. pick up on the rules such that... Um, Really pick, quick. Yeah, really quickly. The stats are straightforward to go through once you know what they mean. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness, page numbers would be fantastic in a book. Yep. If you don't care about writing in your book, I'd go page, number, right? Yes. Right in the right, right yep. in the book. It's just quick that way. And then the quick reference guide is a must. Mm -hmm. And I would like them if they added a couple more pages to that quick reference guide regarding mm -hmm. spells. Yes. And break tests. Break tests, yes. That was the That would be a nice thing to add to the quick reference guides, which I think was yeah. missing from that guide. Yeah. Uh though that would be an easy way to improve gameplay yes. immediately. All right. That is our thoughts. Let mm -hmm. us know what you think. If you've played the game yourself, make certain you comment below mm -hmm. and say your thoughts to everyone so we spread the knowledge wide. Mm -hmm. Now, this was given to me by Warlord Games, so I have to thank you for letting me try out this game. I would play it again. I've told you what I was not so keen on. Mm -hmm. I hope you take it to heart that I enjoyed it and... Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what else comes out. It's very enjoyable. I, I do really look forward to playing it again. And thanks for the, op the opportunity to play this game because mm -hmm. I am looking forward to playing it again. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I or we shall yep. catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.